Hey, good morning. This is Karen Pickering. I uh, publish the Northwest Horse Source magazine, and I just wanted to take a few minutes this morning to kind of share some thoughts on where things are at and uh, all the situation around the COVID-19 situation. Uh, I just want to give you a word of encouragement. This is not going to last forever, and I know that a lot of you have been hit hard, um, maybe losing your jobs. Um, I just want to encourage you that this is a temporary thing and that we'll get through this. Um, there's a lot of resources out there for positive reading and, you know, resources that you can look up to help you get through this situation. But one of the things I wanted to talk about is now that we're kind of stuck at home, what is what are you doing in your horse life? Are you spending a little more time with the critters? Um, I'm finding myself, I go out three times a day now and pick my pens and, play with the girls a little bit and uh, Saturday we went for a little drive. I have a miniature horse that I drive and we just uh, are getting a lot of things done around here and I know it's tough. I mean things are tight for everybody and I feel for the companies that have closed and that kind of thing but uh, one thing we can do as horse people is really support our local feed stores. Um, that's where we're going to be able to get our hay and our grain and any supplies we need for our horses. And even if they have, you know, curbside pickup or they want you to place an online order, take a look at those options so that you don't maybe have to do a direct face-to-face. -face. But uh, we really need to take care of these stores. And I particularly want to take care of these stores because that's how the magazine's distributed is through our, our feed stores. So, you know, maybe recommend to your feed store that uh, when you come pick up your stuff, you want a copy of the magazine because we're in most of the stores out there. So, um, but anyway, let's support our local feed stores and take care of them. And our local, you know, um, what comes to mind for one of our customers is like Boney Pony. They have a lot of horse supplies um, in their store. You can order online. You can stop by and pick it up. Um, but check with them, make sure what their hours are, and just keep thinking positive about what's happening. Um, for your local restaurants and so forth, why not do one night of takeout to help these guys along? Um, if every one of us just ordered food one night, think of the impact that might ha have on our local restaurants that are doing online orders or, or walk up to windows. Um, there's things, extraordinary things happening during this time. I think that we're going to see a big shift in how we buy products. Um, this is going to force a lot of people like me to really ramp up the online video. That's that's, that's why I'm doing this. Um, and I just want to encourage you that if you are an advertiser, um, stay visible. When you know you shut everything down during these kind of times, it does hurt everybody. Because it hurts you especially because, you know, advertising is an interesting thing. If you stop advertising, you don't, you're, not, you're no longer visible to the people that are buying products. And you want to stay there. And this is really a good time to ramp up, you know, if you're a store, ramp up your online presence, your, your website. Take some time to really dive in and make it more user-friendly. We're doing that right now. We are in the process of revamping our website again. I've started another website called Horse Safety Tips uh, where we can focus strictly on anything to do with horse safety and think about some of those things. Anyway, uh, Take a look at our digital edition. We've got a lot of great articles there. If you can't get out, maybe consider subscribing. Um, have it delivered to your door. We're still in print. We're still out there, and uh, we just want to support you in any way we can. A lot of great material on the website. So uh, do enjoy, and let us know how we can uh, be of more help. And, you know, maybe comment below on this video and let people know what you're doing during this time to uh, get through it. Anyway, um, I hope you're all happy, healthy, and uh, we get through this together. And if there's anything we can do for you, just let me know. Anyway, make it a great day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>